Perkenalkan nama saya Ifatia Farahazari, saya sebagai yang sendiri. Perkenalkan nama saya Anissa Nur Rahmadayanti, saya sebagai narator 2. Perkenalkan nama saya Raina Novani, saya sebagai narator 1. Perkenalkan nama saya Sony Purna Pratama, <tuh> sebagai narator 4. Once upon a time, in West Java, Indonesia, lived a princess named Dayang Sumi. She was beautiful and kind hearted. Her hobby was weaving cloth, but sometimes she could be very lazy. One day, her weaving tool fell, but she was too lazy to get it herself. She sold it out. Can anybody help me get my tool? If you are a female, I will take you as my sister. If you are a male, I will marry you. A male creator came, but it was a dog. His name was Tuma. He happily brought her the tool to her. Then Sumi was very surprised, but she kept her promise. She married the dog. Well, dog, although you are an animal, I'm willing to be your wife. Miraculously, the dog turned into a handsome man. Tuma was actually a man who had been forced by a witch to become a dog. But at the same time, Tuma would turn back to be a normal man. Their only son, Sakuriang, was soon born, and he grew up to be a handsome and healthy boy. He always played with his very royal dog, Tuma. He did not know that he was actually his father, because the Sumbi hid the secret from him. Sakuriang liked to hunt in the wood, of course with Tuma. One day, the Sumbi asked him to bring home a deer map. But after hunting for several days, he could not find any deer in the wood. Sakuriang decided to give up and walk home. But then the ran past him. Quickly, he commanded Tuma to run after it. Tuma after the deer. Dog stays far. He wished on an unusually disobedient, making Sakuriang even angrier. Bad dog, what happened to you? Don't you hear me? Sampuriang thunder while pointing his arrow at Sakuriang. Then an accident happened. Sampuriang was stripped of the arrow. It rushed towards the dog and hit him right in the head. Situman died at once. Sampuriang then took his heart for his mother. In the heart, the Sumbi cooked the heart and ate it. It was delicious indeed. But but then she realized that Situman was not alone. Then Zumbi then asked Sangkuriang and Sayasi. Where is Situma? Wasn't he with you today? Sorry, mother. I cleared him. The heart you at this. The boy answered easily, showing no regret whatsoever. It infuriated Dayang Zumbi. Sangkuriang had slain his father, so he got very angry. What did you say? You killed him? You break a rebel son. Then Sumi then hit Sakuriang's forehead with a piece of wood and taught him to live. With a bad bone on his forehead, Sakuriang left the village. Many years later, Sakuriang grew up to be a powerful man. One day, he, he went back to his village. He met a beautiful young woman there. And he fell in love with her at the first sight. It was Dayang Sumbi. She never got older because she had been granted eternal youth by the gods. Sankuriyang did not know that she was his mother. So she came to her and proposed to marry her. When he walked closer to her, Dayang Sumbi got very surprised. She saw the scar in Sakuriang's forehead. The young Sumi asked Sakuriang, How did you get you? How did you get these scars? I don't remember, I just remember that I heard it on, on Confucius and wandered in the jungle. Soon the young Sumi knew that her wish her food would leave her alone time ago. She taught him the truth and tried hard to explain it to him, but he did not believe her. She did not want to break his heart, so she had 
this proposal but gave him an impossible thing to do. Do you really want to be with me? If so, I want you to do something. What are they? You say it? Make me a leg and a boat. They must be done before dawn tomorrow. I'll do that if that was all you want. Sun Korea could do it because he knew that he could make it with the help of his games. By midnight, he finished the leg and then started making the boat. When the boat broke, Sun Korea had almost completed the task. But the boat was now finished. Again, the enemy tried to guard. God, please help me. Show me the way to hidden him. Please, God. Dayang Sumbi was thinking hard to find a way to fail him. Before dawn, she asked the people in the village to burn the wood in the east. And the light made all the folks grow, thinking that the night would be over soon. The genius ran fast and left Sang Kuryang before the boat was finished. Sang Kuryang realized that Dayang Sumbi had killed him. He got very angry and he kicked the boat upside down. It gradually became a mountain and it is now known as Mount Takuban Parahu. Yang dari kau.